The lime slaking project at Antelope Valley Station is the newest tool to keep the plant in environmental compliance. The slaker helps scrub sulfur dioxide from the plant's flue gas. The projected coal quality from the mine has higher sulfur in it, which means there'll be more sulfur dioxide in the flue gas and slurry is needed in the scrubber system to scrub out that, flu, that sulfur dioxide in the flue gas. The power plant has had a slaking system since it began operating. The older slaker will serve as a backup to the new one. The old system utilizes horizontal ball mills. They're what they are, they're just a ball mill that circulates with balls in it and crushes up the pebble lime. These are vertical ball mills. They have the paddles vertically instead of horizontally. And that's the difference. This was chosen, it was more economical, the lead time, and for our process, it was the best fit for that equipment. Pebble lime will arrive via train to the plant, get loaded into this silo, then moved by the pneumatic conveyor system to the day silos. From there, it drops into the slaker. Water will be injected in there, and it'll all be ground up together. It's like a big mixer. And then it just is pumped over to Unit 1 and Unit 2 scrubber system to integrate with the existing slaking system. The system will use 80,000 tons of pebble lime the first year. It's projected to use up to 110,000 tons in future years. They are starting up different motors, turning them over, make sure they're running, the pumps are running, and commissioning, slowly commissioning different equipment so we know it's working. Construction on this project started in August of 2009. It's projected to be complete about a year later. At Antelope Valley Station, I'm Tracy Battenhausen for Basin Electric.